Hey everybody, this is Joel with Backroad Builds. So you're getting ready to start your project and you need to head to the store to pick up some filler metal. Once you get there, you may feel a little overwhelmed by the large selection of different filler metal types and sizes. Today, let's take a few minutes to talk about what you need to know in order to pick out the correct filler metal for your project. The first thing you need to do is decide what process are you going to be welding with. In this case, let's say it's the wire welding process. So find the area where the welding wire is located. Next, are you going to be welding with your standard MIG gun or with a spool gun? If you're welding with your spool gun, you will need to find the four inch spools of wire. Today, we're going to be using our standard MIG gun, so we'll focus on the boxes of wire. Now we need to know if we are welding inside and are using shielding gas, or will we be outside for this project? If you're welding outside, you'll want to look at a gasless flux core wire such as the Hobart E71 T11. If you're welding inside, you'll want to look for a solid wire such as the Hobart E70S-6. For this project, we're going to be welding indoors, so we're going to be going with a solid wire. Now the last thing you'll need to figure out is what size wire to buy. I'm going to be welding mainly 8 inch to 3 16 thick material, so for this I'm going to choose the 035 wire size. Don't overcomplicate things. Finding the filler metal you need can be easy if you ask yourself the right questions.